You know how I usually talk one or two minutes before I actually show what's all about in the video? Well, you don't. Chances are this is the first time you are watching something on this channel. But I do talk. A lot. Not today though, because I forgot to save the script and keep the laptop at charging. Yeah, I know. So, long story short, because I don't want to write everything all over again, the disaster that was Windows 8 and me testing it out for the first time just a few days ago led me to this video about Windows 9-ish. 9-ish. So, let's begin. This OS is a modified version of Windows 8.1 Embedded Industry Pro. He calls it Windows 9. Now keep in mind that this is not a new thing. It's actually a 4 or 5 years old OS and some YouTubers did talk already about it back then. Like Michael MJD and Sinus Tips. Yeah, I added this last part just so that I make fun of his name. I'm reaching all time lows with every new video. Windows 9 was designed to bring back the UI from Windows 7, one of the best Windows UIs ever in my opinion, while keeping the kernel improvements from Windows 8.1. Which is not a bad thing considering that Windows 8.1 still gets updates and support till January next year, so it's not a completely dead OS. Windows 9 is for 64-bit only, so it will not work on 32-bit systems. Also, you need a license key to activate it. And if we go here at the bottom, he mentions that this image is not provided with a license key, therefore is not an illegal source of Windows. Users must provide their own license key for activation. But keep in mind, this is Windows 8.1 Embedded Industry Pro, so a regular Windows 8 product key will not work. Believe me, I tried. Windows 9 might be a registered trademark of Microsoft Corporation, he doesn't own the term Windows 9, so please don't sue him, Microsoft. Now, my experience with this OS, comparing with Windows 8 that I had a few days ago, was excellent. The fact that it looks and feels like Windows 7, with the IRO interface, one of the best Windows UI ever, brought back this nostalgic feeling from a time long gone when everything was just simple, not subscription based. Remember those times before subscriptions, when you had just two choices, purchase or pirate, and nobody actually knew what the first one is or does? I like the fact that this OS comes almost empty, bloatware free, so all those apps from the Metro interface are gone. The only things on it is Chrome, 7-Zip and Start is Back Plus, which without almost none of this would have been possible. Of course, hardcore fans will spot some differences here and there, like the original Aero layout is not that pointy at the corners, but the other 99.99% .99 of the users will not spot a difference. It's actually very easy to forget that you are not using Windows 7. Besides the logo at system properties, you don't really find a hint that this is Windows 8.1. The only time you see the Windows 8 layout is when you check for activation, but most probably you don't have embedded Industry Pro key, so there's no reason for you to check that section out. And yes, because you don't have a product key, you will be limited in some cases, like personalization or that wallpaper watermark which everyone hates. But apart from that, nothing much, and you can use it however you wish, if you wish. During testings, I also tried Windows Updates and Windows Defender, and I don't know why, but I expected to encounter issues with them. Maybe because it's a modded Windows, or I don't know, but there were absolutely none. The updates were good, went all the way, and Defender, well, defended. So personally, I could not find any weak spots. Overall, is a very well done build, lightweight, fast, and because of the Windows 7 UI, is easy to navigate through. You can even consider it a Windows 7 which still gets updates and support, for whatever short period that is. So if you are a nostalgic or you have an older device for which Windows 10 is too heavy and you don't like Windows 8 or 8.1 because of its UI, then this is the right operating system for you. Just remember, it's a 64-bit only and you need your own activation key and a device on which you can install it, preferably with mouse, keyboard and optionally a display. Cheers!